Let's play the outer world. All right, we were still searching this factory, which is extremely large, and I don't know whether I've been in every door or not. Or in fact, up every, every climbable surface yet. Yeah, I'm not sure about that either. Um, I think that's about as far as I can go with there here anyway. Oh wait, what's that? Oh no, nothing, okay. Don't panic, I think I've been here. Damn it, I've been in here. Yeah, there's that bloody thing again. Right, let's go upstairs again. This looks like a different way upstairs, but I don't know. No, it isn't. Okay, it's fine. I took that. Now, I guess we're going into the central part of the building. So you, loose lips, pink slip, is that barred? Okay, barred. I don't know why it's barred. Uh, where is the elevator? Oh, all I've got to do is follow the green dot, I? Oh, hang on, you stupid boy. Here it is, look. Wait, that's the town leader, there's the elevator. Right, now what's in this room first? Where's that door open? There is an outside. Okay, don't know whether we came in this way. Anything on the floor? Yes, there is. Okay, so we're just, we've got all the doors open, mind, so we'll steal it quickly. Okay, use terminal. Uh, Login. So there's nothing much there particularly, okay. Let's get upstairs, dude. <laughs> right, use, obviously. Wow, it's a long way up. It's still going. <laughs> okay, uh, where's the door? Oh, it's over this side. Oh, the grease monkey, Argo. Hello, there's the boss. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Let's have a look. Don't apologize. Just try using small words. Seems we've got a guest. Yes. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. Parvati. I, I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. No, you wouldn't. You must be the town boss. No, I'll wait till you finished. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just... Old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll, I'll do that. Okay. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Preservation of company property is strictly Try contrary to, to the cannery, cannery for somebody else. Phyllis. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to win. Oh no, I don't know, did I? Row. Now, what can I do? For yeah, then who else is left? Oh wait. We can start with introductions. Hmm. Okay. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Ah, well, I normally run around in the nude. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Uniform, what are you talking about? Shirt, pants, work boots, company approved colors, the uh, honorable apparel of a loyal worker. Well, <laughs> that's why I don't wear any then. <laughs> Let's slip the, skip the small talk. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. I don't... Well, yeah, that one. Yes, so it dawns on me. Dawn? Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Okay. I don't plan on staying long, or shall I just get to the point? Let's, my ship needs repair. The only regulator we got is hooked up to the town. Hello, let's talk to him. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. Okay. Then. I can't let you have our power regulator. All right. But I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Frying? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His, his legs, legs were still, still twitching, twitching when we buried him. <laughs> There's a power Don't regulator in the old botanical lab. 
It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Well, squandered power. Go down to power. the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district power. over yeah. to us. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Okay. That's a lot to ask of a stranger. Tell me about the, or shall we say, when you say it mostly about I was it. not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but um, there are people who live there. People. What a surprise I never would have guessed. I don't think these people, yeah, well, that one. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. Ah, the people living I'm in doing the them a kindness. <laughs> they're deserving. By removing their power. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Right. Why? If you want me to solve your dessert problem, I charge by the head. Good law, no. I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. Oh, I'll try not to. My hope is that by cutting off their <laughs> but, power, you will convince you know, those deserters to come back to sometimes town. Sometimes they get a murdering Before itch. You go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, okay. Adelaide. Tell her Comes the power's new, about to go. The power. And that it's time the band of deserters message. came back to town. Okay. All right, Reed. How will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's... Dignified. Dignified. Kind of. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. <laughs> okay, then. These workers must have left town for a reason. You're asking me to cut off power to an entire community? I am asking you to help us survive. Edgewater needs more workers or we will collapse. Okay, we well, why don't you get some fucking Avis on? Choice oh. family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. No, she won't. Um, mm, I'll see what I can do to help you. Okay. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Okay. I mean, if that's all. Have you got a gun? <laughs> I get into a bit of trouble every now and again. I hesitate to part ways. <laughs> but I cannot deny that she is talented. Talented. And may prove useful to you. Mm. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. Okay. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Okay. Sure, I could use the company. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Okay. Well, I am glad to hear. She's that. all set. Best of luck to you. She's a jelly. Thank you again for She's all set. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, let's get going. Leave conversation. Okay. Trophy and best friends, companions. Oh, we've got to hold these bloody things. They annoy me. Some people have may require completing another quest before. Mm. Whatever you're on about. You some sort of freelancer? Yes. All right, let's... um. <laughs> Can we nick anything <laughs> while everyone's not looking, which they obviously are? What's she doing? What's out here? Requires Reed's key to unlock. Oh, that's annoying. All right, well we go down here then. Wait, you come with me. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Do we? We need to... Oh, look, I've got more bloody pictures on my... Um, on the left of the screen there. Do you come in? No oh, good. Well, step in. You know, the floor will leave you behind. Yeah, how did you manage to do that? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office. Oh, same thing. Talk. You said before we talk. Now can we talk? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office. No. Talk. Can I get out? Hey, Mister, can we? Talk? Now I need to talk. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. I. 
You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but at all, you know. that's not the only side of the tape. It's not. Uh, this is about the service, so what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks Squeak. or stutters, it Squeak. gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Before they left. How did you know the deserters, you worked with them, you were friends, or what? Um, I'm sure this is a very nice Mr. So Thompson's what? aiming to take away their power. They'll have they'll no lights to see or heat to cook. Ba, 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 ba. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. Well, does that really right matter? I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Oh god, we've got to do two now. Please. I suppose it wouldn't help. Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt, not help. Where would I find him? Um, okay. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. The only clean thing. Um, I suppose it wouldn't help. We'll stop by. What do we need to talk to the oh, let's go. Thanks, mister. I just think when you got to make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Okay. That's what my dad used to say anyways. So when I kill you, you'll be fine, will you? <laughs> okay. Now, I used that before, so which is the way... What's that? I didn't do anything. Okay. Not sure what that does. Was there another room around here now? No. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting. Come on. Let's get out of here. Okay, we's out of here. I think we're travelling in the right direction still. Uh, we've been in there, so we don't need to go in there. Got my sights on. Have you? Alright. Um... Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. <laughs> he's oh, he's having a fag break. Boss's order. Um, that door's one of those that don't open. Unless it's an internal door, and then they don't always open. Get over here. Get down. We'll take that. No problem. Oh, well, I'm supposed to get over there then. Ah, wait. Go up on here. Up on here. Oh, look at that. We can't even have it anyway. Bugger it. Let's have a look down here. While we're here. Oh, look. We'll take it. Mainly because I... <laughs> How'd you get here? <laughs> uh, do we want to go back that way? I don't think we do, really. Oh, wait. Should we need to take that? See, so it is the other way around. Ah, we'll open it. What could be worse? It's got light pistol and everything. Okay. What's transfer? I don't know. Hello. You're safer inside the walls. Okay. We are inside the walls. I don't feel very safe anyway. Wait, is that another door? Transit to Emerald Vale. Okay. Did we do that one? Shit. I have no idea. Let's go look down here. Bit dark. I can't see. We'll take that. I 
Oh, there she is. <laughs> oh, what a bloody hell that was. Okay, let's see. Is there any way up here? Or is there any point of going up there? No. All right. Don't need to go that way then. What else is around here? I mean, I feel like I've been here actually. Beginning to look the samey. Wait, is that the church? Looks like a kind of church. Before we continue, I'm somehow got to check. Okay, so there is the vicar's over there. That's the botanical lab there. Work fortifies the spirit. Yeah, it sure does. What about you? You got anything to say? Carry on. Carry on. What a carry on. Anybody else in here apart from you? How about you? You say anything? Our place in the universe is fixed. It's fixed. Yeah, that's what I thought, but you know. Pick up that one. I don't know what it is. Hello, anything behind the table? Nothing? Okay. That's it, she's in the way. Who are you? Hey there, Mary. Hey, Mary. I don't see you around here too often. No. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar as well. And me, I need to talk to him as well. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? Yeah. What? No, what? no, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Stop right there, Work baby. Work fortifies the spirit. What, again? Talk. Work fortifies the spirit. <laughs> right on, dude. So that's no good. Hello. You don't know me. So let's chat. Yes, what is it? Chat is the way you talk. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Hi, or Vic. Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And rare to see you out. Stranger. Yeah, I told her to put her clothes yes. on, but she wouldn't listen. Just tagging along with the de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. <laughs> Name your poison. Anything at all. Um, Spiritual counseling. This season's toss ball predictions. The <laughs> quickest way out of town. Quickest way out of town. Pavarotti wanted to talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. How did you know an outsider? What sort of spiritual advice? I just thought something else I would need to be doing. <laughs> there we are. What? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in yeah, single shy. words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Walked. Thompson asked you to do? Fix the geoloid. Cut off the power to Adelaide's. Cut power to Zitters. If you could answer quickly, we're in a hurry. There we I go. I can see why that troubles you. <laughs> Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. The talk. What talk? Um, right, great. Can we wrap this up? Or what do you think of Adelaide's group vicar? Uh, yeah. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Ah! Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? P could be. Depends on how well the leader can provide beyond your walls. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. He sounds like Mr. Tuvak. <laughs> so what do you... St <laughs> okay, right, great. Can we wrap this up, please? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. See, so he's telling me I've got to do that anyway, right? Right, just talk, talk everyone into coming home. I'll keep that in mind. It sounds like you've got to work... 
been a waste of time. No. Right. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. A challenge. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. No, I'm not assuming anything, mate. Um, I've been outside. I'm not impressed. I can handle myself better than a vicar. Okay. <laughs> The marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in the collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. Have I got that as a but job? You see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. Uh, if you manage to acquire it for me, I've got a job. Another a damn job. I can't clear the jobs I got. A handsome son. A handsome sum. Why would a vicar be after a banned heretical book? Mm, okay. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. Oh, layman. It wouldn't do for such information <laughs> to fall into public consumption. Okay. You make a compelling argument. Seems... Ooh. I need to know a bit more about this book before I agree to this. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Uh, no, my it name's Ed. It's not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time. It's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Oh, cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value. No, Should they not many. It? Okay, on second thought, I'm not interested in running errands. No, I'll look for your book. Okay. Thank you. If you retrieve it, so now we you have can always find me here. <laughs> Another damn job. <laughs> I could have not done it, I guess. But, you know, the more things to do, the more things I'm likely to get done. That don't make sense either. But okay. Um, I spoke to you. Now then, the thing is, who is next to be seen? Bio, bio, biotechnical lab. Wait, we're still going around the bloody city, the town anyway. So we will just keep going for a while. I don't like to leave things left. I like to know where everything, even though I get lost. Uh, why is this one here? Let me we can get up somewhere. Possibly. Uh, possibly not. Well, I don't know. Really? All right. Let's go in here. Open I'm sesame. Not I'm not allowed in here. Not. Got my oh, wait, I missed girl. that. Jules Moreau. Hello, Jules. Um, I guess this is all steel. Considering he's looking at me, which is not a healthy thing. We got steel on the tables. See, there's lots of things I could steal. But he's looking at me. Talk. Miss Holcomb ain't allowed in this establishment. Not since that little incident. What little incident? Incident is. She'll be on her best behavior, won't you? Absolutely. I'll keep my hands in my pockets. <laughs> All right, she's. A I thief. won't touch anything while we're in here, Mister Moreau. <laughs> I promise. Uh, let me see what you're selling. Trade. I got some questions for you. Um. Go right know. ahead. I don't know what the questions are. I What's your place? What's your take on this place? Anyone I should watch out for? So about this plague, it's supposed to be going around. Oh, great! What's your take on the place? What, I guess. You mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. Yeah. This is a test. Am I being tested right now? Yeah. It's a uh, fine and dandy. Dandy. <laughs> Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra Two. Really? Okay. Telling yourself. <laughs> we'll make it true. I'm glad you are. You can't be serious. 
the blister on my ass is prettier than Edgeport. That do. Do us both a favor and don't try to prove your point. <laughs> I don't get paid for banter. Was Tough. there something you needed? No, I'm actually. Oh, I see what you're selling. Music to my ears. Music to your own ears. We'll turn the bloody radio off. Right, let's go. How do we know what level we're on? We are on 1% discount, apparently. But I've, no, I've no idea. Um, so this is the shop. Buy, sell, which... Wait, we can sell. Uh, I can sell crap? Wait a minute, that can't be right. We can have that then. Yeah, we can sell crap. Okay, I thought we couldn't sell without, um, you know, whatever it was. Do I need that? No, I don't need that, do I? <laughs> Probably find I need it. It doesn't matter, we're selling it, okay. Bananas, you can have those. Apples, bananas, sliced bread. I don't know where I'm supposed to have these or not. Frost ration pill, you can have those. I'm trying to make room. Uh, tarmac and cheese. Yeah, you can have them. What I'm worried about is weapons. <laughs> weapons! Heavy armour. Spacer's choice. Assorted flavoured teas. Right, you can have that as well. Uh, we got a vest. A pick-me-up pill. Hey, can I do it on a separate thingy? Heavy armour. Two hour, I'm not going to bloody bother to do that, no. Um, ambidextrine. Really? No, you can have that. Certainly can. Nico pad. Nicotine patch. <laughs> I've said it. Do you know what? I don't even know what I want. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Skin tough salve. Um, hard. How do you? Um, I mean, you got to use these things or something. Armor parts. Uh, what's that? Frozen dinner. Get rid of the frozen dinner. Oh, I just killed one of them. I didn't mean to do that. Now we're coming to the end of the list here. Bread noodles. Yeah, you can have those. Bottles of. Whatever that is. What's that? Terra fried sp spratwurst. Yeah, you can have that. What's that? Spencer's choice. Oh, cigarettes. Well, I don't smoke anyway. You can have that. <laughs> uh, Tim of Spencer's chore. Chow, not sure, fool. Wait, what the hell's that? I've no idea. Oh well, that'll do. We've done. We go in here. Um, he's looking at me. I can't. I can't go out there. He's got a vending machine. We got another door here which we can't open. Bloody hell! All these doors are. Sh Bloody like can't open. Now he's looking at me again. Oh, all right, we're off. I can take a hint. All right, what's down here? Oh, body. A resident with Mr. Ouch, apparently. I don't know what it means he's got, but okay. He's got Mr. Ouch. Well, um, there's a thingy there as well. We pick that up. Anything else interesting? Is it the same place? I mean, I don't know. I've lost myself. Corporate guard, what's in there? No place for a traveller. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I don't know what you're talking about, so... <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that, honest. Is that where I came out of? Where did I go down? 
Oh crap, I've lost it. Where did I... Oh, Your there, I must have gone down there, actually. That looks like where I went, didn't it? In it? In it? I have no idea. Try again. There's another body. Why is there another body? Okay, well, we'll take that as well, then. There's something flashed at me over here as well. Okay, we'll take that as well. And examine. Your mother passed away from plague. Really? Okay. There's nothing in here. Right, so that is basically we are here. This is the hospital, sick bay. Great. Okay, let's open the dumb door. Can't open that door. What are you doing? You look dead already. I appreciate the company and all. But you Rosemary Quan. You don't want to be seen around me. Hmm. Why not? Because I'm sick. Oh. You don't okay. want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. We are. I'm not. in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. I should have shut the door, shouldn't I? You make it sound like I'm being watched. The walls talk is all. We all got sights on each other. <laughs> Any of us breaks company protocol, boss is going to hear about it from six different mouths. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Okay. Um, no. That one. It's not the plague you got to worry about catching. It's my attitude. Oh, attitude. Um, catch your attitude. Tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. Right on. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I'm I should sure have Maybe something. I should have taken more pride in my work. I'm probably getting confused. That's ridiculous. You can't blame yourself for being fell sick. Why not? I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. Oh, gosh. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. I do mind. All right, then. Sit back down. Behave. Look, there's a thing. <coughs> Are these dead people, or...? I don't know. Let's just go round and round. Well, you don't look very well. Alright, uh, we'll take you. See, I'm picking up more crap again. Get away. Oh, pills. Probably. Not that I know, but, you know, probably. These people are dead or... Just very tired. <laughs> I guess they're tired. Armor parts. What? Of course I got him. Shut the door. Oh wait, she's got coming here. That's this one, isn't it? Oh no, that's wait, isn't it? That's not possible. It is. Just open the freaking door and come in. Sure. I'm going. Shut the door. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. I don't know what she's doing. She's talking to herself. She's, um, let's have a quick chat. Something you need? Uh, no, not really. 
but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. Okay, never met your mother. Hmm, it means she's but dead. I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. Okay. She worked in the Vale a few months. So you were campus. posted every, as an embryo. The contract said any kids she had, <laughs> expected or not, okay, cool. belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. All right. That's inhuman? It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Okay. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. Oh, we know that one because she pickpockets. Vicker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by what? Uh, the machine Vicker sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Okay. <laughs> You're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's an. In, if it's, in, um, it's an ideal. Then why did you want to talk to him? The vicar's about the only soul in the veil who spends his time thinking on what is and ain't right. It's okay. just that when he looks at me, I feel I disappoint him. Oh, well. Well, we know that. Because she stealed things. Stealed things. That's good English for you. So there we're going to leave there. We are. Uh, oh, what are you doing in here? I don't have time for this. You don't have time for this. You're in here. Uh, did we wake him up? I don't know. Okay, well. Right, so we're going to have to end there anyway. I'm going to keep on here <laughs> just for eight hours. Yeah, wasn't that good? Look at that. Eight hours already. So, saved, which is good. And we'll see you later.